Hello guys, welcome to the fifth part of my series called Inside Python and till now we haven't tried to understand um, the bytecode, we haven't tried to understand how it looks like and in this video we will try to analyze the bytecode. So let's get started. So let's say I have a function like this, it's a very simple function in which I have a equal to 1, b equal to 2 c equal to a plus b and I am returning c. It's a very simple function. And now let's say I want to understand that how will the bytecode of this function will look like. Right? So that is the question and the answer is this module. So basically we have a built-in module called this um, where this means disassembling. So what actually happens is that this takes any kind of byte source. Byte source means any um, source code which is executable for example this particular part is a byte source which can be executed easily so this module um, has a function called this which takes any byte source as input and it provides you the um, assembly language format of the byte code okay so this module takes input byte source and the output is assembly language format bytecode representation so let's try to see um, the output that I get when I try to pass my func into it look at that I get something which looks like assembly language but it is not actually assembly language it is just a assembly language format for your bytecode okay so let's try to understand they ha here 2 represents the line number 2 of your byte source which is a equal to 1 3 4 5 are those um, 3 4 and 5 lines just here so here is the first instruction which says that I have to load a constant value 1 and then I have to store it inside the variable a so a equal to 1 is um, getting um, executed or you can say bytecode defines that how will this line ex get executed like this after that I have to load the constant value 2 and I have to store it inside into B and then I have to load A, load B, add them and then store the result in C right and in the last line all I have to do is load the value of C and then return it so this is how this um, the, this is how the bytecode will explain or define how this particular code will be executed by the Python virtual machine so this is how you disassemble any kind of byte source in Python and I hope it is clear if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching